it's all about tonality, harmonics, and vibration now, dear ones. Your devotion to this path is appreciated. It is with your devotion that new energies are drawn into this domain of experience, grounded and perpetuate the evolution of humanity. Slowly the world is reorienting to the new energies present here and now and like all change, it is for some to adapt early, others to follow and some to resist or ignore. This is to be expected and in no way limits or interferes with your experience in this here, now moment. You are organizing your own experience with your choice of focus. Increasingly you are realizing the importance of learning to work with your mind, learning to allow your mind to help you in creating experiences that you desire. It is important for you to trust your knowing and begin to apply it more and more, creating and discovering your ways of using your attention, focus, the mind, presence to create life in ways that you prefer. It is an endless expression of your being which is involved in this moment in time, having insight and desires for creativity based on all aspects of your experience and it is in this physical form that you have such great opportunities for deep fulfillment. The energy that you are expresses itself in many spheres of focus and yet in the experience of form, the experience of awareness can have a richness that is substantial and profound in ways you do not experience when you are not in form. For this reason the desire to manifest skill mastery in form is an aspiration of many beings of light. As you allow yourself to work with the form you are embodied and you embrace this aspiration and begin to work in greater unity with yourself. It is not for you to leave this form without learning more about how it functions, what its capacity is and how your overall consciousness can benefit from this as well as guide you in participating well. It is important for you to trust your inner knowings as well as what you are remembering. A lot of things about how realities work have been remembered. It is for you to now really allow yourself to apply this and change how you live. Many human beings have big moments of insight. They see how life works, understand the thoughts that have been interfering with their happiness, release and forgive something they carried a long while, feeling relief, feeling hope, feeling better. Still it is the rare human that continues to work with this moments on the ascending energy and integrate them, allowing them to change the way they create their day, the way they plan and live. It is the rare human who is altering what they think about and practicing what they've learned, in essence living in a continual process of conscious evolution. This is where the leading edge of your human potential is now and for you to express yourself this way is the pathway to claiming the joy you anticipate emerging in this new reality. Nowhere is this more apparent than in your relationship with abundance energy and primarily money and your relationship to self-expression. These avenues of life are keys now to being honest with yourself about how life is going. Beginning to get a real picture of your own abilities and then with grace and a sense of humor, beginning as you are, to expand your mastery in bringing forth both abundant energy slash physical well-being and money and learning how to create the connections and experience that allow you to express your unique energetic orientation to life. As you allow yourself to become more well, more resourced, more free in expressing yourself and choosing, you begin to participate as you deeply hoped you would, in this new reality. Life is calling forth your self-love and has been for some time, because you need this to look honestly at your life, knowing and deciding to embrace that it is all of your own making. This willingness to take back your power is what awakening is really all about. So many of you as humans have issues with ideas of power, have issues with ideas about money, have issues with ideas about health and energy. You have bought into so many limiting ideas about all of these very important aspects of physicality and we wish today to encourage you to take the time to deeply explore your own experience of these areas of human life and see what you can comprehend about your own relationship to creating your life in these areas. It will not do, in the new reality, to keep waiting for something to line up so you can move forward. This is an old paradigm, victim approach to life and if you are still feeling it, we tell you now directly and with a hope you might let yourself off the hook please let this go and stop giving up your creative powers to anything outside of yourself. You are creating your experience of Earth, of this galaxy, of this lifetime and your perspectives and experiences. It is not necessary for anything to line up except for your own perspective and energy. All the alignment needed to change all of these things in your life in any way you wish, is within your control. 
Anyone or anything which makes you feel otherwise is distorted and is in some way distracting you from your power. This is not to place blame for there is much distortion in interpretation of life on earth and learning to see beyond this into the clarity that is also present, is part of the journey. It is to remind you that there is plenty to get disoriented with if you pay attention to it. Do not let anything guide you which doesn't uplift you and make you feel empowered to create what you want right now. There is no reason to hold your desires off in the future waiting for something to happen now. Lots of excellent material about using focus and feeling through attention to create exists. Use this material to work with your own abilities to concentrate your focus and thus your energy, applying it with choice which gives information for structure and magnetizes what you imagine to you. You have come here specifically to get exceptionally good at doing this while remembering the cosmic fullness of your being. It is through this fulcrum of the inner portals to all you are and the presence which allows you to ground that energy here and create with its sensibility and qualities, that you continually expand the fulfillment of your experience here. Fulfillment is the most wonderful feeling. It is a sense of capacity. It is a sense of being met and connected. It is a feeling of growth and learning and expansion. It encompasses so much of what is distinctly beautiful within the energy of love. Allow yourself to ask yourself today, do I feel I am able to truly own my life as my own creation? Where am I giving this power away and how may I take it back, letting other people off the hook and letting myself flow more freely? It is a process to unfold your being in form. It will have many moments of victory and many moments of confusion, as you expand and reach further into the continuum of being aspiring to more and stretching the domain of this reality to accommodate your desire to evolve and grow. Let yourself work with the nature of things on earth yet bringing to bear the changing dynamics within your own energy, your own DNA, your own presence. You do this by altering your relationships to empowerment, allowing yourself to explore skillful concentration and focus, taking advantage of as many present moments as possible today and every day to choose consciously and feel the immediate manifestation of your creation. This is how it works. It is done when you feel it deeply. It will replicate into magnetized essence experience of what you feel in form. Start looking for them. Start claiming what you're creating. Start really, deeply knowing this and exploring it, because when you do this, when you make this your aim, when you truly practice this, you will begin to know your power, your capacity, in amazing and profound ways. And you will not mind so much discovering what bothers you in life, for you will become aware of it accompanied by the confidence in your ability to start changing it. You will actually enjoy realizing you prefer something else and could perhaps thrive more in a different situation because it will give you and your imagination a chance to play. And you will discover you are far more creative than you've likely given yourself credit for. And life will begin to hum and sing and the song will be your song. And we will all hear it with great joy. I am with you always. I am Archangel Michael.